Hey guys, uh, my name is Larry. I'm sorry, I'm just excited. It's been uh, kind of a long week just working. Um, nothing bad happened, just working, you know, and now it's the weekend. I'm so excited to be out here camping. Uh, I'm here in the American Southwest in Arizona, just south of a town called um, Wickenburg. And uh, I mean, the weather's perfect, like 72, little overcast, little breezy and i'm wearing short sleeves i don't know what the temperature is where you guys are at but it is just perfect here i am loving this i am so excited about being here tonight um, you may have noticed this thing on the camper i actually installed a flagpole um it's a little crooked but i don't know i'm, I'm still working on it it's got i gotta take it off and put a little a couple spacers in there because of this little ledge on the edge of the camper um, it kind of makes it stick out all wonky, but uh, I have the Arizona flag up there flying. I also got an American flag and I made a custom flag that I've been waiting on for a couple of weeks. It finally arrived. Unfortunately, I don't have it yet. I should have it for the next video. I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Let's, <laughs> let's just, uh, get camp set up. So a uh, subscriber named Ronald um, sent this table and it's just awesome. I like how small it is. I actually have a little aluminum folding table, but it just always took up so much room in the camper. I mean, it, you wouldn't think it would, but with a truck camper, you don't have a lot of room. Like if there was a time where I didn't want to use the table outside, it just took up too much room in there. This is perfect. I can just stack it with my bag or in the closet or somewhere and i don't even have to worry about it it's just nice small and compact so thank you ronald so much for this um i normally wait until i get on camera to use these items but i'm not gonna lie i used this when i was in quartzite at the uh, truck camper rally last week just because um i couldn't wait <laughs> but it's just such a cool little table Just kind of pops on like that. I like that it's wood grain. Look at that solid table. I'm excited about that. Thank you. I've had this portable fire pit for uh, shoot, I don't know, three years. I've used it a lot. I mean. That's not from throwing wood in, that's from heat. Like it's pretty worn out, but it's actually done very good for how much I paid for it and how long I've been able to use it. But I think it's almost time to get a new one. Uh, it doesn't, okay, every other time it doesn't like to unfold. It gets jammed up right here, but all of a sudden it's working, of course. So forget what I said. <laughs> But I might have to get another one of these. But you know what? Like, um, this is probably one of the hottest items in the affiliate list down below in the description that people like to buy is this fire pit. And I'm telling you what, um, it's definitely a lifesaver because, like, right here, it's just it's a perfect spot. But there's no fire pit, and in Arizona, you kind of have to have a fire pit because they're always worried about forest fires. Even though we're not in a forest, um, all this stuff could actually catch on fire. I normally just like to split it a little bit. These big ones just burn so slow. So I just like to at least break them down a little bit. Just got to find that right wood grain. I don't want to mess my axe up. There we go.
Need to find a better place for that hose. So I don't know if you noticed, uh, but the last, I think, couple videos, I've had this mailbox up on the truck. I found it at a uh, thrift store for like 99 cents. And I was like, hey, you know what? What the heck? Maybe if I'm parked in the parking lot and somebody sees my camper and they got a note or a message to give me, then they can throw it in there. And in fact, I already got one right here from, uh, I'll read it to you. Uh, Mason <laughs> figures. <laughs> I hope you are having a great day from autumn. And it came with a dog treat. Um, he loved the dog treat, but for the record, if I didn't know who autumn was, I wouldn't be giving him the dog treat because who knows if it had something in it, but, uh, she's a, a good friend of mine. So, um, and I know she's watching this video. <laughs> so, uh, she made a special trip just to drop this in my mailbox when she found out I had a mailbox. So thank you so much for that. And Mason says, thanks for the treat. Um, yeah. Now, as for the flagpole, um, I'm, I'll make this quick. I know a lot of people don't care, but it comes down. This part stays on the camper. The pole comes off whenever I travel, but you can kind of see that I've added spacers back here to try to get this to come out to, to miss this right here, but uh, it still doesn't do it. So it kind of still sticks out this way. So what I'm going to do is take these spacers off and get ones that are uh, just a little bit longer, maybe another quarter inch longer and then that should hopefully go straight up i just want the flag to go straight up and down not this weird angle uh here i'll get you guys another angle so you know what i'm talking about so we're trying okay i'm trying to line it up with the back of the camper you can tell it sticks out just a little bit and on camera honestly it doesn't look that bad but uh when i don't know it it, it it's bad enough maybe i have a little ocd i like things to be straight and clean and <laughs> uh i don't know not just wonky looking like that so yeah i'm gonna fix it but uh shouldn't be long maybe as soon as i get back in the town I'll, i should be able to grab some more spacers from the hardware store and fix that and as for where i'm at i actually normally never do this um where i actually show you the location i'm at um i don't know why i just i guess i don't think about it but i'll, I'll try to start including it in um the spot i'm in now actually i was here two weeks ago when i did the video where i didn't do the video if that makes sense i showed an older video um this is the exact same spot and i and i really thought it was a cool spot so i wanted to come back here uh so here i am this is actually a big kind of dirt lot you can kind of see the road right there it's just a big plain dirt lot and there is a fire pit right there which i think is obviously where you're supposed to be set up camp but um I kind of like where I'm at over there because there's a little bit of grass and some some trees around and stuff like that. And since I'm so close to the road, then that's just a little more private on the side of the camper where I hang out. So you can kind of see where I like this spot. There's like a wash right here. Um, there's the road, but I kind of have a little privacy. I haven't, I've only seen like two people drive down this road since I've been here, but a little grassy area for Mason. Uh, he loves eating grass and then, um, kind of a tree there i don't know it's a cool view uh i'm just liking it i like how private it kind of seems like it is even though i just have this dirt lot right behind me so there's there's not really anything special going on out here but here yes here no hey bud how you doing just in here relaxing huh it's perfect look 71 degrees fahrenheit He's loving it. A little breeze coming through. He's just been up here snoozing. Yeah. Say hi to everybody. Say thanks to Autumn for the, the treat. Oh, I said the wrong word. <laughs> you have one currently sitting right over there that you're not even eating. Just saving it for later, huh? Yeah. We see you. You can't hide. Is that good? <laughs> okay, so I gotta bread the chicken now. Um, I've already got kind of got started, but I have a couple eggs in here. 
I've got some flour and there's pepper, fresh ground pepper in there. Um, I need to put some salt, about two tablespoons. And then of course add a little slap your mama, spice it up a little bit. I hope that's enough. I'm just kind of eyeballing things. All right, we'll put a little milk in here with the egg. All right. Uh, so now I guess we just throw the piece of chicken in. Open them up a little bit. I kind of am not 100% doing it right. Um, the, the chicken is not room temperature, but, and, and I'm not like letting it soak. I should be letting it soak in here pretty, actually, you know what, I might, I'm supposed to let it soak in there a little longer, but just, I don't know. Pretty bad at preparing things ahead of time. Anyways, uh, so we got that and throw it in there. Right there. All right. I'm gonna throw a couple fire starters in there. A couple big chunks out of the fire. That should get things rolling. I feel like I'm gonna need more of those big chunks of coal. I'm gonna put some more on the fire. Now. some oil in there. I don't know how much I need. <sighs> What's happening? Why is it all smoking? I don't know. I don't want to catch that stuff on fire. Woo! Let's do that. Well, that's picking up. Um, I got this fire down to a manageable level. It was kind of shooting out everywhere. Uh, I just don't want that oil to catch on fire. So I had a lid on, hopefully that stops it. But um, a subscriber, Abby, actually sent this. It's a Dutch oven tool. And it's meant to hook the Dutch oven so you can take it off the fire. Holy moly, my arm is on fire, speaking of. Whew. I gotta scoot over a little bit. Um, and then it also is to take the lid off like this. Uh, keeps it stabilized. So you can do whatever you got to do with it. I really appreciate that. Um, a lot better than just using gloves. Whew, man, it's, it's too hot in the kitchen here. I can't. I'm sweating. <laughs> think it's ready. I have a fire extinguisher sitting right at the door. Um, taking off the mountain, everything ready to use just in case this would catch on fire. Uh, I've never cooked it like this before, but there's only one way to find out. I was gonna do one at a time, just until I can figure out how it's gonna work out. And I've heard like, various things you can cook it well i've heard it's just a couple of minutes and it's cooked and then i've also heard like up to 10 minutes so uh it already looks like it's freaking done already we'll see let's keep it going no way that could be done already i 
that grease might be too hot. All right, it's been about six minutes. I'm just gonna take this one off. Let it cool down a minute and cut it open. Go ahead and get a couple more cooking. I think I can cram two in there. Oh yeah. Tell you what though, that looks pretty good. I hope it's done. Sure looks done. Pulling up the last piece of chicken now. I'd like to pretend that this all worked out good, but it did not. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing I should have used a frying pan instead. This took two hours to cook that chicken. Uh, so the first set of chicken is just ice cold, which is fine, whatever. It's going to go in the fridge anyways, but um, yeah, wasn't the best move. <laughs> That's all right, though. Should still taste good. Hopefully the mashed potatoes are somewhat warm still. Check that out. That looks pretty tasty. that I don't know what I was expecting uh, this batch of chicken was in the grease probably 30 minutes um, I just the the temperature went down and it took me a long time to get it back up I thought it was gonna be like really dry or soggy or something I'm not sure it tastes good though it, it tastes fine so one funny thing that I notice all the time and, and I'm sorry that I'm gonna bring this up because you're not gonna be able to unsee it if you haven't noticed it yet, but, um, YouTubers, <laughs> especially the camping ones that, that eat in front of the camera like this. Um, if you haven't noticed, they do this every single time. Listen, I'll just, I'll do it and then see if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what is that? Who does that? The whole like, mm, no, it's really good. <laughs> it's just funny. Like, uh, I don't know who started that. Bad actors and in, in 90s TV or something, but um, it just, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It just, it's getting late. I'm getting, uh, what's the word when it's late and you're tired? Whatever. I'm so that that I can't even think what the word is. It's been pretty nice out here um just been enjoying a fire after dinner and listening to some music um, there has been like a dune buggy that just keeps coming by and he's like turning around in the lot that i'm parked in and then he just like almost does like a donut and then floors it back in the other direction and it's just obnoxiously loud and i get it they're out having fun but it's it's kind of been all night and uh, I just, I don't understand how, I mean, I understand there's, I don't even know what to say with that. I just don't understand how a person could just be that disrespectful. I mean, I'm out here camping alone. I'm, it doesn't even matter if I'm alone or not. I'm just out here camping. Like, who turns around at somebody else's camping spot? Actually, I was camped over here, uh, like the next spot or so down from where I'm at right now. Last time, multiple dirt bikes and side-by-sides come through my camp and then this guy in a truck that just legit came and he drove all the way around my whole camp it's just real slow and creeped out and just and left and i'm sure it was nothing like menacing it was just odd like who does that <laughs> that's it's just 
I guess, in my opinion, I thought it was like an unspoken rule. Like, if there's somebody camping, you don't go up to their camper, you don't knock on their door, you don't drive up to them, um, because it's a little different story. When you're out here in the middle of the forest, I mean, people are on a different edge. They're they're kind of like, um, they're out having fun, but there's still a, a, a sense of, like, survivalism there. Um, like, if I would go up and start beating on the door on one of these campers... Uh, <laughs> Like, especially now, uh, I'd probably get shot. Like, uh, it's it's just, it's, um, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that word. I'm sorry. I'm just, like, <laughs> cranky and tired right now. I was in such a good mood earlier, and uh, um, nothing really happened. It just, um, I kind of pulled my back out, and, and then this dude with this, dune buggy keeps driving by and um i don't know it's just, it's, i'm just tired it's late I'm delirious delirious is the word i was looking for earlier uh while i was inside eating dinner <laughs> i'm just yeah um i think i'm ready for like a good night's rest and then uh get back at it in the morning i guess Good morning. It's your turn to do dishes. <laughs> Mason boy here on my lap. He's enjoying his fire. You can see the breeze. Um, pretty strong this morning. The flag shadow is blowing around quite a bit. But it's okay. I don't know what it is. It's probably 68 degrees, 70 degrees. I mean, it's just perfect. I don't, I can't, I can't complain. I, man, I've said that so much on this video, but uh, I almost didn't come here because I thought it was going to be too warm. I ended up, I was thinking about going a little further north, but, uh, um, I don't know, just ended up being perfect. It's so nice here. I'm attempting to fry my mashed potatoes from last night. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. Hey, bud. You just napping? Mm hmm? <laughs> no, that might work. Just need to brown them up a little bit more than that. I think that's good enough. Let's spice up my breakfast a bit with some Slap Your Mama. So this morning I was uh, just looking up videos on Glamis, like sand dunes in California. I've never been there. It's on my bucket list. I guess I always figured I would wait till I had a side by side or something to go out there. I don't think I could even really do much with the geo tracker if it's really sandy, like thick sand. But uh, I don't know. I was trying to watch videos this morning, and, and 
the videos are like these extreme hardcore, you know, <laughs> sand rails, hopping over sand dunes and lights and drinking and parties and woohoos and stuff. And, um, and I know that that's like, I've watched videos of places like Lake Powell and stuff that I've places I've gone and they have those types of videos that make it seem like it's a nonstop party, but then, uh, it's not really like that in real life. Not all the time. So, uh, I'm just trying to get a real idea on what Glamis is like. Uh, I kind of want to go, but if I can't do anything, I mean, all I have is the tracker. So if I can't do anything with it, then I don't know if I even want to waste my time going there yet until I get something that, that could, if I, if I did get something that I could go on the sand dunes with. Buddy, you ready to go for a run this morning? Hmm? You want to go for a run? Let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? You ready? You ready to go? Let's go. <laughs> well, we can't run right now. Let's get over here to the road. <laughs> Come here, let's go this way. All right, come on. Hello, where'd you go? <laughs> Mr. Bush. That Mickey just couldn't pass up. What is it, bud? Gold? Oh, it's just somebody else's poop. And you're gonna pee on it? Okay, that's weird. All right, now you ready? Let's go. <laughs> Just couldn't ask for a better day. I hate eating carbs. I don't know why I keep doing it to myself. Ugh, just wanna just feel like I could throw up right now. It's like major acid reflux. <sighs> what do you smell, bud? Uh, just perfect day out. I like the overcast every once in a while. We get so much sun here, it just kind of like starts burning your skin. I mean, I know sunburn, but like it's just nice to not feel the burn on your skin every once in a while. Oh, come here, bud. There's somebody coming on a bike. Come here. I don't know what my deal is with creepy uh, dudes on bikes. Um, the guy was, he just rode right next to me. I mean, within three feet of me. And I waved right in front of him. And I said, good morning. And just mean look. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, so I, uh, I don't want to admit that I'm not feeling good. I don't even want to say the word because I don't ever get sick. But uh, I think I'm, I think I'm just due for a day of rest. Uh, I don't know. I got like a tension headache, my sinuses are all messed up, uh, my nose won't stop running, my body just hurts, I don't know, uh, and I feel like major acid reflux, um, and I know a lot of that's probably from having a cheat weekend eating sugar and carbs, uh, and I'm not saying I know everything about, my, uh, about diets, I, and I know there's people that are against it and for it, that's just the way I want to eat. And, uh, yeah, I just, I, I remind myself every time I have the cheat weekends, why I don't eat that stuff anymore. Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, well, I'm gonna let you guys go and I'll be back here next Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, I guess until next time I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye.